Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021 public board meeting. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Would everyone stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Thank you. Uh, would uh, Mrs. Burns call the roll, please? Mr. Parentano. Present. Mr. Allen. Present. Mrs. Berman. Here. Ms. Boyle. Here. Mrs. Hellenbeck. Present. Mr. Kovitz. Here. Mr. Marrington. Here. Mr. Cirillo. Here. Mr. Sullivan. Present. We have a quorum. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. Uh, this evening, the board met in executive session prior to the meeting to discuss matters of employment, issues related to labor relations, the purchase or lease of real property, matters related to litigation, and matters related to school safety and security. Mrs. Burns, do you have any announcements? No announcements. No announcements, thank you. Dr. McGee, your superintendent's report, please. Thank you, Mr. Parentano. Uh, on this evening's agenda, the board will hopefully approve the adjusted uh, year end year calendar for 2020 2021 on that calendar uh, two dates to note one is election day which is May 18th uh, way back in August we adjusted that to a sync an asynchronous learning day for students so we could have our elections also get a learning day in uh, and not mix the two, the electorate and students together. Uh, so May 18th, I'll put email out to parents reminding them, is a non-in-school day, but an asynchronous learning day decided way back in August um, prior to the events leading up to today. Uh, also on the calendar is the end of the school year, uh, which remains June 16th. And we are announcing the graduation date of the class of 2021 as Tuesday, June 15th. It is our intent to graduate the entire class together if conditions permit. If not, uh, we will do similar to what we did last year, having the red team graduate and then the blue team graduate. Uh, so that's on tonight's agenda for improvement, uh, approval. Uh, beginning next Monday, not next Monday, uh, the week after, April 5th, uh, we are set to bring the secondary students back five days a week. Our elementary students have been back five days a week since the week of um, March 8th. Uh, projected to return to school uh, by two weeks after that April 5 date are 89% of our elementary students. 87% uh, of our middle school students and 72% of our high school students. Uh, so we look forward to uh, welcoming them back. All systems are ready to go. Hopefully uh, things continue to improve. Uh, I would like to pause um, prior to the email this week and remind everyone, students, parents, and staff, that uh, the pandemic is not over. Uh, we've gotten this far by following a very well-written, very well-implemented health and safety plan by our staff, by our administration, and frankly, by our students and parents. We need to continue that. The goal is it's multi-layered. Uh, distancing is one of the layers. Masking, washing your hands, not touching your face, uh, staying home when you're sick, getting vaccinated, a bipolar ionization ventilation system, all part of the multiple levels. We will be reducing one of those levels, uh, the physical distancing in class, uh, which means that we have to make sure we continue the others and do them just as good so we can continue throughout the school year. So it's our hope uh, we can do, do, do that. Others have begun and have been successful. We hope that vaccinations continue. The Neshaminy staff, those willing, uh, for the most part have been vaccinated due to the help of the Bucks County Intermediate Unit and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. 
Uh, so we are prepared. Uh, only thing that can stop us is the virus itself and, uh, and possibly new, new, new variants. But if we do our end, uh, both in school and parents and students there do, end, do their end out of school as well, uh, we see that we should be able to do that. Thank you, Mr. Parentano. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. McGee. I'll move us on to our public first public comment period. Are there any sign-ups, Mrs. Burns? No, there are no sign-ups. There's no sign-ups this evening. Uh, seeing none, we will move on to our mm -hmm. routine matters. I'm sorry. I'd like to make a master motion for routine matters. That'll be 2.01 minutes, 2.02 treasurer's report, 2.03 check register and procurement card purchases. 2.04 budget transfers and 2.05 investments. A motion's been made. May I have a second? second? Second by Mr. Sullivan. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes 9 to 0. That'll move us to section 3. Uh, Mr. Sullivan. Personnel cert certificated. I'd like to make a master motion to approve item 3.01 appointments, 3.02 retirements, resignations, and end of assignments, 3.03, which I can't find, up top, leaves of absence, 3.04 change, changes to leaves, 3.05 revised returns to leaves of absence. 3.06 co curricular assignments. And uh, I think that's it. Yes, that concludes, concludes those section. Uh, a motion's been made. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Hollenbeck. Any comments, questions, or concerns? I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize one of our uh, teachers retiring with 35 years of service. I believe it's a Miss Committee, Committee, Dr. McGee, Ann Caminetti. I should know that, but and we want to thank her for her years of service here at Neshaminy and wish her well in her retirement. Any other comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention. Motion passes nine to zero. Uh, Mrs. Hollenbeck, Section Four, please. I'd like to make a master motion, 4.01 appointments, 4.02 retirements, resignations, end of assignments, 4.03 leaves of absence, and 4.04 revised returns from leave. I'm, I'm sorry, we're, we're going to uh, take 4.02 out of that. We're going to read that separately. So it's a master motion for 4.01, 4.03, 4.04. Motion's been made. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Sullivan. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes 9 to 0. Mr. Kovitz, would you read 4.02, please? Yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to make a motion for 4.02 retirements, resignations, end of assignments. Resolved that the Neshaminy School Board of Directors hereby approves the following retirements resignations of support staff. And there are six names associated with that list. Indeed. Um, motion's been made. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Hollenbeck. Any comments, questions, or concerns? I have a comment. Go right ahead. Um, I'd like to just point out, um, hold on, I've got to get to it now. Um, Congratulations to Brenda Russo on her retirement of almost 35 years, 34.6 years of service to the Nishamini School District, and congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes 9 to 0. That'll bring us to Section 5. Uh, Mrs. Boyle, please. Um, I'd like to make a motion um, um, to approve 5.01 revised 2020-2021 school calendar with the 2021 graduation date, <clears throat> whereas inclement weather forced the closing of all schools 
on December 16th, 2020, December 17th, 2020, February 1st, 2021, February 2nd, 2021, and February 18th, 2021. And now there, therefore be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors <clears throat> hereby approves the attached school calendar, which maintains the scheduled last day for students and teachers to be June 16th, 2021. And be it further resolved that June 15th, 2021 is designated as the date for the Nishamini High School graduation. Thank you, Mrs. Boyle. Motion has been made on 5.01. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Bowman. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes 9 to 0. Uh, Mrs. Boyle, could you read 5.02, please? I can make a motion for 5.02, out of district placements, um, <clears throat> whereas in order to meet the educational programming needs of specific students, it may be advantageous to utilize the services of out of district providers. <clears throat> now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the out-of-district placements identified below. And there were two, two identifications attached to our list. Mm -hmm. A motion's been made on 5.02. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Kovitz. Any comments, questions, or concerns? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes nine to zero. That brings us to section six. Uh, Mrs. Hollenbach, 6.01, please. I'd like to make a motion for 6.01 amendment to the 403B retirement plan. Whereas in the Neshaminy School District maintains the Neshaminy School District 403B retirement plan, and whereas the plan was duly adopted on the 1st of January 2009 by the District's Board of Education, and whereas the board desires to amend the plan to permit 403B contributions and the in-plan rollover of a non-Roth account to a Roth account. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the section 6.0 Roth, 6.6, .6, excuse me, Roth 403B contribution of the plan is hereby amended to read as followed. 6.06, .06. Roth contributions shall be allowed under the plan. The rules of the 1.401k minus one and for designated Roth contributions under a qualified cash or deferred arrangement shall apply to designated Roth contributions under the plan. Thus, a designated Roth contribution under the plan is a section 403b elective deferral that is designated irrevocably by the employee at the time of the cash or deferred election as a designated Roth contribution being made in lieu of all or portion of the section 403b elective deferrals the employee is otherwise eligible to make under the plan. A designated Roth contribution shall be treated by the employee as includable in the employee's gross income at the time the employee would have received the amount in cash if the employee has not made the cash or deferred election, such as by treating the contributions as wages subject to applicable withholdings requirements. The plan will allocate Roth contributions to a separate account, which shall be maintained in accordance with the Treasury Regulation Section 1.401K minus 1F3. Gains, losses, and other credits and charges shall be separated, separately allocated on a reasonable and consistent basis to each participant's Roth contribution account and the participant's other accounts under the plan. A designated Roth contribution under the plan must satisfy the requirements applicable to Section 403B, elective deferrals under the plan, and the requirements of Section 1.403B-6D. Similarly, a designated Roth account under the plan is subject to the rules of code section 401A, 9A, and B, and 1.403B-6E, notwithstanding section 
the eligible rollover provision. A direct rollover of a distribution from a Roth account under the plan will only be made to another qualified Roth contribution program described in Code Section 402A or a Roth IRA described in Code Section 408A. The plan will only accept a rollover contribution to a Roth account if it is a direct rollover from another qualified contribution program described in Code Section 402A and the plan will only be made, will only make or accept a rollover if the rollover is permitted under the rules of Code Section 402C. Be it further resolved that the plan shall include the following new Section 6.7 Roth 403B contributions. In the adoption agreement so specifies or if the plan includes a qualified Roth contribution program, a participant beneficiary <clears throat> or alternate payee may, consistent with IRC 402A C4, direct an in-qualified rollover contribution into a Roth account of an amount under a non-Roth account that for a transfer before January 1, 2013, the participant beneficiary or alternate payee otherwise was entitled to receive an eligible rollover distribution or for a transfer after December 31st, 2012 is consistent with IRC 402A C4E. I don't know if we should ask for a standing ovation first instead of a, uh, a second, but thank you very much, Ms. Hollenbeck. A motion's been made on 6.01. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Sullivan. Any comments, questions, or concerns on the motion? Yeah, can John explain that in English now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think we've set the standard for the longest motion of, the, of this year. We'll, we'll see who wins the prize <laughs> come the last meeting in November. Uh, motion's been made on 6.01. Seconded by Mr. Sullivan. Uh, questions, comments, or concerns have been asked for. Hearing no more. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion passes 9 to 0. Mr. Allen, 6.02, please. <clears throat> 6.02, I'd like to bring a motion to the floor. Uh, the acceptance of the 2019-2020 audit report. Whereas the audit for the Neshaminy School District for the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2020, has been prepared by Maylee LLP. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the attached audit report for the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2020, in accordance with Section 24-2408 of the school code. Motion's been made on 6.02. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Boyle. Any comments, questions, or concerns? At this time, I would just like to ask our business administrator, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Irwin, if he could just give a brief description of the audit process and, and the results therein. Yes, thank you, Mr. Peritano. The audit was for getting feedback. The audit was done by Mally and Associates. Can you hear me now? The, the audit was uh, performed by Mally and Associates. They reviewed our uh, all of our expenditures and revenues for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2020. They also um, In, their, in, in the course of their review of our expenditures and revenues, there were no uh, questionable uh, federal awards that were made. Uh, all our expenditures were done in accordance with the uh, grants and that were received for. Uh, it's an unqualified opinion by the auditors, which is uh, which what we're looking for. There were no findings. Uh, we did have a uh, letter to management as it relates to um, an internal control procedure that they made a recommendation on that we were uh, putting into place uh, at this time. 
Thank you, Mr. Irwin. Are there any other comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes 9 to 0. Mr. Sullivan, could you read 6.03, please? I'd like to make a motion for 6.03, approval of agreement with Spiesel Architectural Group, Inc. Whereas the Neshaminy School District desires to begin the design of a new elementary school building on the Maple Point grounds, which requires the engagement of a qualified architecture firm, whereas there is at least one feasible location on the Maple Point school grounds for construction of a new elementary school building, whereas concept designs and program have been pre preliminarily outlined by Spiesel Architectural Group, Inc., a qualified architecture firm, and time is of the essence. And whereas the district desires to proceed in incremental steps following selection of a concept and into a schematic design, and at the conclusion of which the district may provide notice to the architect to proceed with further design of the new elementary school, now, for, now therefore be it resolved that the Chamonix School District authorizes the district's business administrator to execute the proposal dated May 15th, 2021, from Mr. Spiesel. Sullivan, that was March, not May. March, March 15th, 2021, from Spiesel Architectural Group, Inc., subject to further review and approval by the district solicitor and reserving the right to propose additional changes and modifications to the March 15th, 2021 proposal and subsequent AIA contract, providing for all phases of designs, programming, and schematic through construction, administration, and or closeout for new elementary school building on the Maple, school, Maple Point School grounds with Spiesel Architectural Group, Inc., including language that requires authorization from the district to proceed past schematic design in a not to exceed amount of $1,386,000 based on a 4.95% of $28 million for all design phases. Cost to be confirmed at the conclusion of the design development phase and be, be it further resolved that the total cost of the program and schematic design phase professional services shall be limited to and not exceed $207,000. Just amending that it's $207,900. Motion's been made on 6.03. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Allen. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes 9 to 0. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, 6.04, Mr. Marrington, please. Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion for 6.04 Sunday facility usage. Whereas, according to board policy number 800, facilities fields may not be scheduled on Sundays without school board approval. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves Sunday usage for the Bucks County Challenger baseball program uh, was requested Sunday usage for Maple Points fields on Sundays, April 11th, 2021 through May 23rd. 2021 uh, and also the Falsington men's baseball program has requested Sunday usage for Schweitzer fields from April 1st 2021 through November 30th 2021 thank you mr. Marrington a motion has been made may I have a second 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 by who was it mrs. Hollenbeck any comments questions or concerns Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, I'm sorry, <coughs> opposed, <laughs> abstentions. Motion passes nine to zero. 6.05, Mr. Cirillo, please. I'd like to make a motion to approve um, item 6.05, uh, Bucks County IU um, number 22, 2021-22 program and services and instructional materials and research services budget. Whereas the Neshaminy School District is one of the 13 school districts in Bucks County that utilizes the services of the Bucks County Intermediate Unit number 22, and whereas the Neshaminy School District contributes to the support of the Bucks County Intermediate Unit, and whereas the school code requires 
that the intermediate unit budgeted be presented and acted upon by the Board of School Directors. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the Bucks County Intermediate Unit Programs and Services and Instructional Materials and Research Services Budget for the 2021-22 year in the amount of $2,171,414 with our district share to be one million six. That was 100. Excuse me, $106,522.26. Thank you, Mr. Cirillo. Motion's been made on 6.05. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Kovitz. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes 9 to 0. 6.06. Uh, Mrs. Bowman, please. I'd like to make a motion, 6.06 .06 amendment to the Bucks County Technical High School Articles of Agreement. Whereas Bucks County Technical High the Bucks County Technical School Authority, the authority was incorporated pursuant of articles and of incorporation filed with the Secretary of State on August 13th, 1973 in accordance with act with the Act of May 2, 1945, PL 382, known as the Municipality Authorities Act of 1945 as amended the act and whereas in accordance with the act bucks county technical school authority has proposed that its articles of incorporation be amended in accordance with the amendment attached here to as exhibit one and whereas in accordance with the act the neshaminy school district one of the municipalities that form the authority must adopt such amendment by resolution or ordinance now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Neshaminy School District as follows. Section one, the amendment of the articles of corporation of the authority attached hereto as exhibit A in hereby adopted, is hereby adopted. Section two, the authority shall take all action necessary to execute the files of articles of agreement of amendment in order to effect such amendment and section three, the resolution shall take effect immediately upon its adoption. Thank you, Mrs. Bowman. A motion's been made on 6.02. May I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Allen. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Yes. Go right ahead, Mr. Allen. Uh, could I ask our lawyer to just uh, give that a brief explanation? Sure. Um, the, um, the motion presented tonight adopts the um, the bylaws, uh, or I'm sorry, the bylaw amendments. It accomplishes um, four things. Now, let me backtrack a little bit. There, there's two uh, public bodies that are associated with the uh, tech school. One is the authority, and one is the uh, joint school board, which Mr. Allen, you serve on, and, and Ms. Bowman does as well. So uh, the authority owns the ground um, and uh, leases the... Uh, uh, the building to to the um, to the school board. Um, so, the bylaws for both entities have to have the same amount of members. Um, so, this uh, motion tonight uh, makes that consistent. So, two board members uh, for for each um, feeder district, which there's six to the uh, to the tech school, um, will be represented evenly. Um, on the board, it used to be some districts had three, some had two. Uh, the other change is the extension of the authority for a period of 50 years. The other is the registered address of the uh, authority, and uh, I believe uh, that was it. Thank you. I just. Thank you, Mr. Trente. Any additional comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes 9 to 0. That brings us to section 607, uh, bond resolution. Uh, the uh, president's going to defer to the board solicitor for a reading of the motion. Thank you, Mr. Piritano. Uh, if the board is uh, of the mind, a motion would be required as follows. Whereas, Neshemi School District, 
uh, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. The school district is a school district and a local government unit of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And whereas this, this school district heretofore issued its general obligation bond series of 2016 dated June 29, 2016, the 2016 bonds in the original aggregate principal amount of 9,245,000 pursuant to a resolution of the board of school directors of the school district, the board adopted on May 16, 2016, referred to as the 2016 bonds enabling resolution and whereas 8,985,000 aggregate principal amount of the 2016 bonds remain outstanding, and whereas the school district desires to incur non-electoral indebtedness to be evidenced by the issuance from time to time of one or more series or sub-series of its general obligation bonds series A of 2021, or such other designation of series or the calendar years during which such bonds may be issued. They're referred to as the series 2021A bonds, the proceeds of which shall be used by this district to plan, design, construct, furnish, and install certain alterations, additions, and or improvements to certain facilities of, of the school district, including among, among other things, roofing replacements and other capital projects. And whereas this school district also desires to incur non-electoral indebtedness to be evidenced by the issuance from time to time of one or more series or sub-series of its general obligation bond series B of 2021 or such other design designation of series or the calendar years during which such bonds may be issued. They're referred to as the series 2021 B bonds and together with the series 2021 A bonds just the word bonds, in order to, among other things, refund all or any portion of the outstanding principal of the 2016 bonds and the interest due thereon in order to reduce the total debt service of the school district over the life of the 2016 bonds. And whereas the, bond, the board has determined to accept the proposal dated March 23, 2021, the proposal of RBC Capital Markets LLC, the purchaser, for the purchase of the bonds such sale to be conditioned upon, among other things, the receipt of approval from the department relating to the incurring of the maximum aggregate principal amount of a non-electoral indebtedness to be evidenced by the bonds. And whereas the board has determined to and desires to accept the proposal of purchaser and to incur non-electoral debt to be evidenced by one or more series or sub-series of the bonds pursuant to the provisions of this act. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of School Directors of Neshaminy School District, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, in lawful session, duly assembled, authorizes and adopts the parameters resolution as attached and presented. So if, again, if the board was inclined, you would, someone would just have to say so move. As a, a president of the board, I'd like to uh, so move. The motion is read by the solicitor asking for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Sullivan. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Mr. Torrente, could you now repeat in English uh, what we just read <laughs> and what we're doing? That's a little easier, sure. Um, there's, there's about $22 million uh, as part of this, this bond resolution. Um, the first $12 million is a Series A. That's essentially new money, okay? And that money is going to be used for various projects as I mentioned in the motion uh, around the school district, roofing, et cetera. The other uh, part of the bond is the Series B bond, which is basically a refinancing of some old debt uh, that goes back to 2016. And I even think some of that goes back to 2007, which was part of the high school remodeling. So with this resolution being passed, um, you're authorizing the, the, um, the bonds to be um, sold. Mr. Irwin, uh could you add commentary based upon the presentation you gave the board at the uh, last meeting regarding the uh, bond issuing? Yes, this will give the school district an opportunity to accelerate the long range facility plan to um, catch up on a lot of uh, work that has been uh, deferred from year to year. So we'll have the opportunity to bundle some projects together in the roofing uh, roofs of the school district. We have over 
I think it was uh, three million uh, square feet of roof that uh, that we have to keep up to date, and this will give us an opportunity to get a lot of those roofs uh, back uh, on uh, a good footing. Uh, many of the uh, warranties have been uh, gone for a number of years, and so this will give us an opportunity to get some of that deferred maintenance caught up. Could you also uh, add the budgetary impact, uh, how it was explained to the board uh, on this uh, issuance of this uh, refinancing of, of some old money and the instance of borrowing some new money? Yes, thank you. The, the refinancing will save the school district $300,000 um, and the uh, the ex new debt will be will uh, is already actually in the school district's budget. Uh, we have a one million dollar line item that we have used for capital improvements that we will now uh, move over in future budgets uh, to pay off this debt at six hundred thousand dollars a year, still allowing four hundred thousand dollars to be used for uh, some items left in the long range capital plan. So there'll be no new uh, debt. Uh, there'll be no n no impact to the budget moving forward thank you any additional comments or questions or concerns from the board hearing none all in favor aye, aye. opposed abstention uh before we close is this required a roll call just double checking for the record if it's a unanimous vote it doesn't require a roll Hearing no, any abstentions, excuse me, any, anyone opposed? Any abstention? The motion passes unanimously, nine to zero. Thank you. That brings us to uh, any other board business. Does any uh, board member wish to state any other board business? Isn't there another? agenda item oh you're right I'm sorry skipping again um, there is a motion excuse me there is an agenda item 7.01 under advice of council council the board president is tabling the motion until it can be further reviewed and presented to the board for adoption thank you mrs. Hollenbeck now we'll move to section 8 um, other board business is there any uh, board member have any other board business to bring forward Hearing none, we'll move to our second period of public comment. Does anyone wish to approach the podium and make public comment? Yes, Seeing none, we are going to move on to board comments. Is there any board member that wishes to have any comments this evening? I do. Go right ahead. I would just like to wish everybody a happy spring break, which starts on Friday at 5. I hope everybody enjoys their time, whether you, however you choose to spend it. And I look forward to having all of the students back to school April 5th. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to make any additional comments? Yeah, sure. Uh, Go right ahead, Mr. Kovitz. Just want to say it's been a while. Missed everybody. Glad I could be back. And uh, happy spring break, everybody. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, I just want to uh, echo Dr. McGee said, we're looking forward to bringing um, all of our classrooms back online. Uh, the kids, children that will be in school, our students, we're looking forward to having them and the staff in our buildings. Um, but again, let's not let our guard down. Let's not get, as he said, COVID fatigue and uh, begin to make mistakes. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate that. I thought it was a good point to be made. Thank you. And of course, enjoy your spring break. <laughs> Dr. McGee, do you have any additional commentary you wish to add this evening? Yes, thank you, Mr. Parentano. Uh, now that the school calendar is approved and the graduation date is set, I ask our seniors' uh, patience as we uh, reopen schools on uh, April 5. And then shortly thereafter, uh, Mr. Staub and the high school administration will have you specifics on some year-end activities as far as your awards assemblies, 
uh, and those uh, classic uh, end of year Nishamity things. So uh, they're in the works, uh, they're looking good. Uh, it's just a matter of giving us time to get our schools open and letting society uh, loosen up a bit and giving us a little bit more leeway so we can plan even better stuff. So look for that uh, early April once we get out the door on April 5. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else before we finish up? Seeing none, I just want to build on the Dr. McGee's superintendent report re regarding the reopening. I shouldn't say the reopening because Nishamity has uh, been open for a while, but, the, but bringing back to our students to a five day a week schedule. As Dr. McGee mentioned, uh, this is no time to ease up. While uh, we will be reducing the distance portion, the rest of our plan stays in effect. Uh, if we want this to be successful, please parents and students follow the rules and regulations as well as the requirements and suggestions uh, of, of not only the district but your individual school. Uh, the better we police ourselves in doing this, the higher chance of, of full, fully successfully uh, maintaining through the rest of the school year with a five day a week schedule. So uh, I know it's been a very frustrating time. Uh, everybody has been hoping for us to move to this point. Uh, we feel confident in the plan that the administration has put forward and the precautions that uh, we've been taking through this entire uh, uh, pandemic uh, in the schools. And I just wish everybody uh, that we have that same success individually for our students who have missed so much and we're going to try and offer back as much as we can as we move to the conclusion of this school year. Uh, as others have said, I wish everybody a happy uh, spring season to start off with. Enjoy your, your time off and by the time you come back, uh, Nishamini should be uh, ready to move to, uh, to a more normalized uh, school setting. It may not be totally normal, but as normal as we feel we'll be able to get it. So thank you all. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to close the meeting. Second by Mrs. Hollenbach. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all. <laughs>